Hi everybody, Cheryl Knowlton coming at you with today's dynamite tip of the day and this is a bit of a confession. Okay, so I flew from the Salt Lake International Airport to the Atlanta airport and I rented a car for the purpose of driving to Montgomery, Alabama to teach um, an instructor development workshop. And I was to meet the head of the real estate commission in Alabama at the at the commission office that day. And we set a time and they closed at a specific time. And I thought, how in the world am I gonna make this happen? So I fly in there, I get my rental car and I see that I'm supposed to be there in 30 minutes. I'm like, it says that it's gonna take me an hour and a half to get there, but that I'm gonna be there in 30 minutes. How is this possible? And I'm sitting here thinking, okay, I realize that I am a graduate of California public schools and I also realize that some days the blonde goes to the roots and some days when we have a time change or I'm all over the country like doing an eight state tour in 12 days like I did last month, I just, my brain, it takes a couple of days to catch up and I'm not thinking clearly. And I'm sitting there thinking, how am I gonna drive an hour and a half in 30 minutes? And this just doesn't make any sense to me. My phone must be having a moment and it's just freaking out and it's just doing something weird. <laughs> it didn't occur to me that I did not see the accurate picture. What I did not realize was going to happen was when I left Georgia and I drove into Alabama, I was gonna experience a time change. Ah, look at that. I was gonna go back in time an hour, which was how I was gonna make a 90 minute drive in 30 minutes. So. Just a reminder, sometimes we think we see the accurate picture of what's going on when in fact we don't. And sometimes we don't know what we don't know. So we need to just take a step back and not be afraid to ask for help when we get to those moments and say, what, what is it that I'm not seeing? I love that about my coach. I said that to him earlier today when we talked. I said, all right, give it to me straight. As I explained to him what I needed his help with, we sometimes need to do that. And we need to ask for the feedback of those we know love us and have our best interest at heart. Hopefully that person for you is your broker or a coach and that you have in your life, a significant other where you can just say, what is it that I'm not seeing here? How, this doesn't make any sense to me. Don't be afraid to ask and that my friends, is your dynamite idea for the day.